Welcome to the Fulfilled After 50 podcast. Today we are going to talk significance over success. So what does that mean? It's like you can have the most success in your life. You can have the most money in your life. But if you have not added significance to someone else's life, that fulfillment will not be there. So you can have all the money in the world, you can have all the success, all the admiration, but if you do not bring significance to somebody else's life, you will still look for that fulfillment. So today I'm going to bring you just five ways that we can be significant in some other people's lives. So that when our time is up here, that we know that we have made a difference. Because guys, if you do not take anything else away from this podcast today, I want you to take away the saying of seize the day, right? Because now is the only time that we have. We are not guaranteed tomorrow, but now is the only time that we have. So, you know, what can you do right now to make a difference in somebody else's life? So I, I heard or I saw, I read a saying from Mary Kay Ash. Mary Kay, who, who has the billionaire company, Mary Kay, right? So she has a quote that says, pretend everyone had a sign hanging around their neck that said, make me feel important. Is that not powerful? So when you are out walking around today, just imagine when somebody passes you that they have a sign that's hanging around their neck that says, make me feel important. Because when you can make somebody else's life, make their life of importance, then you are fulfilling your own life. So how do we do that? Number one way is, is to listen deeply. How many times are you in a conversation and you, you know, you're listening, but you're really not listening because you're focusing on what you're going to say after they finish talking. That's not listening intently. That means like you are not really listening to what they are saying. So therefore, how can you add value to them if you are just really concentrating on what you're going to say next? So listen deeply to that person that is across from you. Like really, really listen and respond to what they are saying, not responding to what you think like you need to say next. Does that make sense? Listen deeply. That's how you can add significance to their life. The second way is to use the person's name over and over and over again. Why is that important? Because when you say that person's name, it is making them feel important. Like you really, really know them. And guys, I am so bad with names. Honestly, I'm so bad with names. It's like, you know, I feel like sometimes God has gifted others in um, just memory of people's names. And it takes a lot for me to remember somebody's name. So when I am in conversation, if I am coaching a client, I am going to say their name over and over and over again. Why? Because think about it, when somebody says your name in conversation, it makes you feel important. Like you are talking directly to them, right? So when you are in a conversation, Jane, I know exactly how you feel. Jane, I know what you are going through. Jane, I can relate to that. 
So when you say that person's name over and over, they know that you are listening deeply and that they are important. The third thing is treat them as they ought to be. I want you to hear that again. Treat them as they ought to be. What does that mean? Treat people as if they ought to be like, like you, they are capable of being that person that you see in them, right? You treat them as what you know that they can become. Maybe they can't see it in themselves, but you treat them as what they are capable of being. Like they are so capable. People are so much more capable of what they believe they can be. And that often comes from our limiting self-belief in ourselves, right? So when I started out on this entrepreneur journey like five years ago, I had limiting beliefs on what I could be too. I like I am by profession, you know, I was a dental hygienist for 33 years, but I had a limiting belief that that was all that was in me, guys. Not knowing that I could be a difference in somebody else's life by speaking of power in them. Speaking and coaching others on gifts that God has put into you, but how do you pull them out? So the third way, right, is to treat others as they ought to be, meaning that you know of their capabilities that are in them, but they don't know that yet. And then the fourth way is offer honest and sincere appreciation of that person. I'm not talking just like fake niceness of, of what they have on or how they look. It's like offer sincere appreciation for that person. Tell them how much you appreciate them being here. Tell them how much, if it's a family member, how much you love them. But guys, be authentic. People know when you're not authentic. It shines through you. So be authentic and sincere when you offer appreciation to them. And then the last thing I'm going to leave you with is try to see things from their perspective. You may not always agree with what they're saying or what their beliefs are or their, you know, what their value system is, but you can offer a listening ear and step back and just take a breath and, and concentrate on your breathing as they are talking because you may not believe everything um, that their values stand for, but you can offer a listening ear. And sometimes that's all it takes to add significance in somebody else's life. Because where you can add significance to somebody else, that gives you fulfillment in yourself. So I ask you, what ways can you go out today and be of significance in somebody else's life? All right, I hope you, you know, just take something away from this podcast. If nothing else, seize the day because today is all we have. We are not guaranteed tomorrow. So what can you do today to add significance into somebody else's life? If you have not subscribed to this podcast, I encourage you to hit the subscribe button. We come out new every single Monday with a new podcast. Love for you to subscribe and listen. And if you're a woman who is entering 50 and over, you cannot find that community of women who are in this season of life, come over to our free Facebook group, Fulfilled After 55 and we would love to have you there. So go out and make an impact in somebody else's life today.